Hello, tonight we are going to make homemade stuffed peppers. But before I get started, I just want to remind everyone to um, hit subscribe for the channel if you haven't already. Um, I really want to be able to keep posting videos, and if you guys like what I'm posting, the best way to tell me that is for you to subscribe. So please hit subscribe and hit like if you enjoy this video. So let's get started and make some homemade stuffed peppers. Okay. Okay. When making stuffed peppers, obviously, we're going to cut open a pepper. So what we're going to be using for the stuffed peppers is um, medium-sized green bell peppers. So what we're going to do is just going to cut off the top here. Just like that. See? Take the core out and throw that away. Clean it all out there. And just clean it out so it's nice and hollow like that. Because we're going to put all of our uh, meat and rice filling inside. So do that to all your peppers. And once you're done with that, they'll be ready to stuff. Alright, as you can see, we already fried up two pounds of ground turkey. It's mostly mostly browned up all the way here, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and add one large diced onion to the meat. We're going to let that cook until all the onions cook down really good. Once all the onions are cooked down really well, We'll mix in our rice and start stuffing our peppers. Okay, as you can see, we got the uh, onion pretty well cooked down all the way. So we're going to go ahead and add our two cups of cooked rice. Now when you're cooking the rice, just cook it based on the directions um, on the bag. Just go ahead and pour it all in there. Just get the rice all mixed up real good in there with the meat. Once everything's mixed in really good, we'll start stuffing our peppers. Okay, once we got all of our meat and rice, all that mixed together really well, um, we're just going to take our peppers that we hollowed out earlier, like so, and we're just going to simply start filling them, filling them up with the meat. You're going to want to do this to all the peppers. Once they're all full, we'll simply place them in the dish here. You want to get it just about like that. And once that's done, just go ahead and sit, sit in the dish. And just do that with all your peppers until the dish is full with them. Alright, as you can see, got all the peppers fully stuffed and ready to go. Uh, now, we're going to push this aside here. And we're going to put together our sauce that's going to go in there. And the sauce is really nothing more than a combination of tomato sauce and milk. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in two cans of tomato sauce. Then we're going to go ahead and add um, two cups of milk. And then we're just going to mix this together a little bit. Okay, as you can see, as the sauce and milk gets mixed up, it's starting to turn a nice uh, creamy, almost pink color. So once it's all mixed in together really well, we're going to go ahead and bring the dish over. And then I'm going to use a ladle and just gently pour the sauce all over the peppers. So we not only fill up the dish, but we also get the peppers covered fairly well. So we just get the peppers all covered like this. And once all the sauce is in the dish and the peppers have been covered, 
I'll go ahead and throw the baking dish into the oven and bake it. Now since all the meat and the rice is already cooked, um, you just need to cook it until the peppers themselves are nice and tender. But just get it all filled up and then we'll throw it in the oven. But just get it all filled up and then we'll throw it in the oven. Okay. Once it's done in the oven, go ahead and dish it out, put it on a plate. And we got a nice fresh homemade stuffed pepper. Go ahead and cut it here for you. And you can see how easily that pepper cuts apart. The filling here, obviously, you'll want to take some of the extra juice out of the um, dish. And after you cut it open, just pour a little extra on there. There we go. And it's all ready to go. Fresh homemade stuffed peppers. If you like this video, just hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you decide to make the recipe, just um, post a comment in the comment section. Let me know how it turned out. And uh, let me know if you liked it. Okay. Enjoy.